So cheating in golf, nobody likes it, but to see it on a world stage at the Hero World Challenge from a, well, a previous Masters winner, Patrick Reed, blatantly cheating. I want opinions of average golfers. What should happen when a golfer is caught cheating? Yeah, so an impromptu Sunday video, not one that I was planning to make and not one that I should be making, to be quite honestly with you, uh, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I find it amazing what's going on. I was late in terms of viewing this. I only seen this uh, yesterday, which was Saturday evening, and it happened on Friday. And from the response that I got from the clip that I put up onto Twitter, which was um, incredible in terms of 10,000 views of the video clip and asking for an opinion from average golfers what they thought in terms of Patrick Reed's actions and it was pretty damning to say the least and in today's video what I want to do is look at yes what happened in terms of Patrick Reed but also golf cheats in general what should happen to them but for those of you who haven't seen it yet just take a look at this situation in the Hero World Challenge Patrick Reed in I think it's waste uh, area Nonetheless, improving his lie, I think it's fair to say. So yeah, draw your own conclusions, form an opinion, but ultimately he was penalised. He was penalised two shot penalty after the round was finished and arguably it should have been a four shot penalty because he did it twice. Um, I don't think there was any dispute whatsoever that he did those actions to improve his lie. He took practice swings outside of that position. Uh, just be aware of that, which I've not shown you. He took practice swings uh, prior to addressing the ball. Uh, so to do what he did, I think was fair to say, pretty deliberate. Um, so the question is this, Patrick Reed also, let's just finish on a Patrick Reed bit. Here's another clip of him doing a very, very similar thing just a couple of years earlier. And again, I don't know what happened in that situation. It was another clip I seen on Twitter, but it just does beg a question. What is he thinking? My question is this. Um, the Patrick Reed element is for me, I think he's very much a Marmite character in terms of uh, he, he's I, I would. I would think he divides opinion on whether you like him or not. But for me, Patrick Reed I had no great issues with him he was in terms of the Ryder Cup I thought he played a sort of pantomime villains role he wound up the crowd he got everybody going and characters like that I think in in some elements are good for the game as long as they don't overstep a mark so I've got no issues with Patrick Reed um but and it's a massive but my mindset has greatly changed after seeing this um last night and after seeing that he's also done similar things in the past but the question is this, what should happen to golf cheats? So I've got two questions for you in this video. The first is, have you experienced in a round of golf somebody who cheats? And if so, what did they do and how did you deal with it? Did you turn a blind eye to it? Did you let them crack on or did you, uh, did, did you have a chat with them? Did you try to uh, give them a chance to explain? What did you do? Now, for my experience on that first question, I've only really, I've seen, we've all seen, I think, the, the situation where somebody will go into an area all of a sudden find their ball from a place and where we sort of question was it their golf ball and those kind of things that happened on the golf course. I, I would imagine every golfer has, has had that kind of experience. The kind of, the, there's a level of doubt. Uh, this is far different from the Patrick Reed situation. But I've only come across one situation where somebody at a golf club that I was a member at was um, found guilty, if you like, of cheating and witnesses came forward and it was a big deal because to accuse someone of cheating is and that's without proof of camera and everything then uh, that's that's a big deal but effectively he was he was banned from the golf club and he was what we call in the uk i don't know whether it's a it's a a, a, a well-known term but uh, we call it blackballed and what that basically means is he really struggled to join as a member of any other golf club because that reputation, that one moment, his reputation had basically finished him in terms of being able to golf in the local area. And, and that's a real sad situation. Uh, but he was duly punished for what he did. 
And then I go to the second question is what should happen in world golf when somebody is, is found cheating? And obviously in this case, it's Patrick Reed. Um, he was found cheating and he was found guilty of cheating because he was penalised two shots. So therefore the governing bodies uh, deemed him to have um, improved his lie. So that was cheating. That's what his two shot penalty uh, was. And for me, therefore he was found guilty so the bigger question is in world golf where they set the standards where everybody is watching the game then in in the am i making too big of a deal of this or should something be done because i find it those comments were last night that he got his just desserts because he actually lost by two shots to henrik stenson was the end result of the competition and without that cheating he would have effectively been in a playoff with henrik stenson so he got his just i don't think he did get his just desserts I don't think he should have been out there for the following round. I think the least that Patrick Reed should have um, been been the, the least punishment was that he was he was banned from that tournament, that he was excluded from that tournament that he was in, uh, disqualified, whatever you want to call it. But that is the least of the um, for me the punishments he should have faced. And I think personally, bigger than that, I think that he should face a ban of a period of time. I think he should face a six month ban. There is no way that. Or again, and I'm thinking as I'm talking, this is very much like I said, an impromptu video, or he goes on some kind of suspended sentence whereby if this happens again, then you've, you've had your warning. If this happens again, then you're banned for a year, whatever, I don't know. But there has to be something, especially like I said, with the, somebody who's got previous in this kind of uh, area, then surely he cannot just turn his nose up at the rules, the integrity of the game that we play. Um, this isn't a Sunday morning game that he's decided to do this in. I mean, he's, he, it's on a world stage. And he's, like I said, I don't know what he was thinking. I have no idea what he was thinking. I have no idea how he thinks he's going to get away with it. I, that's the bit that baffles me completely. But it shouldn't be whether or not you can get away with it or not, should it? It should be the simple fact is that's not what you do. Um, and for me, like I said, I'm somebody who, uh, I remember the Lexi Thompson thing a few years ago where she remarked a ball from a different position and whatever else. And, you know, there was a kind of like, there was a big furore over that. And I kind of like, I sat on a fence a little bit with that and maybe wrongly so, but uh, in terms of what I thought the, the right outcome was. But in this instance, it's so plain and obvious that I find it hard to, like I said, see what should happen. And I want your opinion, like I said, from average golfers, you watch it, you, like me, have seen that clip, and now you're sitting there, what do you think? And I think it's, uh, judging by, like I said, the response, it was, a, it was pretty damning. And I'd love to see in the comment section below where the sway goes towards, is this over the top in terms of the video? Is it in over the top in terms of the response? Should it be a case, okay, well, he's, he's had his punishment. He, you know, he's been found guilty. He's had his two shots deducted. He lost the tournament because of it. Is that enough or should he be punished further and what should that punishment be i ain't gonna go anymore that is it that's the video done but i felt compelled to do the video i think it's a real um moment within golf that i think that needs uh it needs dealing with i'll be interested to see if any more comes of it if the governing bodies uh, are brave enough to do any more or is that just forgotten about and one last question this guy is don't forget representing uh the he's in the president's cup team uh representing america and again, I have a big American audience that watch the channel. What are your thoughts on that? Is that is that right? Should he still be in that team? Is that again something that should be he should be removed from that team? Should Tiger Woods or whoever it is that makes that decision, should they remove him from the President's Cup team? Uh, I th again personally think he should do, and I think it'd be very very difficult for him. I think it's difficult for Patrick Reed moving forward. I really do. That's how big of a deal I think of it anyway. Right. As ever, thanks for watching. The big deal about this is not my opinion because that's only one of them. I'd love to see in the comments down below all your opinions and then uh, draw some kind of conclusion on it and see what the overall sense of opinion is. Right, thanks for watching. I'm going to carry on with my Sunday morning and uh, I'll see you all soon.